it's mostly people when they clean out their homes they find things that are kind of interesting and they bring them into us. It's always gifts, uh, we don't purchase anything. Um, so if anybody has things from North Huron with historical significance, we'll accept those and try to showcase them the best we can. actually currently don't have a curator, so it's actually just me, Jenna Howitt. I'm the assistant uh, archival. It was built in 1907. It used to be the post office. Uh, where we're standing right now was where you'd come in to get your mail. It's been in use as a museum from 1977 to now. And the Historical Society took the second floor of the post office and uh, used it as a museum. This floor here features the Alice Munro in the corner in the nook. It's right beside her garden that we've set up for her. And here we featured uh, the story of her life, her marriage, her children, and of course her books. She's even come to visit it from time to time, so that's pretty exciting for the rest of us. Uh, the room we're in right now is uh, what used to be the parlor and is now the medical exhibit. The most interesting artifact for me, and it changes from person to person, but uh, our skeleton. If you come and see him, you'll notice he's quite small. He's interesting to see. In the basement of the North Huron Museum, this is the Barn Dance Museum. It is by far our most popular exhibit. Uh, here you can see uh, Doc Crookshank's creation with CK and X Barn Dance. It's one of the most popular exhibits. Here we feature all sort of artifacts from CK and X. This room has recently been redone and uh, you'll notice we've got new ceilings and new floors. That's because we had a ceiling cave-in and uh, it's thanks to the friends of the museum and their over 500 hours of volunteer work that we are back up and running again. We're in the military exhibit right now. Uh, something interesting to note is that we actually have a jail door from across the hall in the basement of Town Hall. It's been brought over and we also have the log books of prisoners that have uh, stayed there that people can actually go through and look at. We have archives from the early 1800s to today. Um, we're trying to make them more accessible to people so when they're coming in, the research can be easily done and we're always here to help with that. <laughs>